In a basic definition, introverts tend to be quieter and reserved. They seek solitude and prefer introspection to socializing. However, it's not just that simple. Introversion is a spectrum, and all of our personality traits fall in that spectrum. So are you an introvert? If you're not completely sure about it, then pause the video and feel free to take the quiz below in the description. By the way, if this is not you, don't worry. We have other personality type guides videos too. Find them in our channel, in the description, or linked up here. Okay, so you're really an introvert. Great, because this video is the introvert guide to introversion. Number one, introverts have an incredible view of the world. It's different, it's unique, and it actually presents them with a huge advantage. A great example of this is the classic lemon juice experiment. Researchers found that introverts were found to salivate more, say, than extroverts when a drop of lemon juice was squeezed into their mouths. They theorized that introverts, in general, are triggered easily by the surroundings around them, which makes them unique souls with much to offer to the world around them. Number two. Introversion is a superpower. Studies have shown that introverts are more humble than extroverts, and humility is one of the most important traits to have, not to mention one of the hardest to learn. It makes introverts more perceptive, more open, and have less of an ego. Number three, why introverts make great leaders. When you try to think of a highly charismatic leader, you might conjure an image of this really booming, loud, and smiley extrovert. But charisma comes in many flavors, and a lot of introvert traits really suit successful leadership roles. Introverts are great observers. You pick up on social cues and hidden dynamics better than most. And when you speak, people listen. You tend to think more carefully before you speak, so when you do talk, people take you more seriously. Number four, optimize your introversion. Don't ever let anyone tell you to change your introversion because it's such an advantage. Also, don't ever let people tell you not to be yourself. Be you. However, it is important for you to optimize your introversion. For example, it'd be easy to know exactly how you recharge. Find the right wing person to socially introduce you into a crowd. Will a fellow extrovert help you in the department but overpower your every conversation? Conversely, would a fellow introvert be a good partner in crime but discourage you from meeting new people? Would an ambivert balance that out? Do research and find your best social partner. Number five, body language for introverts. Even when you're not speaking to another person, your body is singing out nonverbal language. As an introvert, it would be amazing if you were adept at body language cues, so check out the Success Beasters playlist for body language. Number six, how to be heard. Do you dread meetings? or just any place where you have to brainstorm out loud, get randomly called on, and forced to perform icebreakers. Here's the problem with that. Not knowing how to excel in a meeting is holding you back in the career world. Here's some tips. Form opinions in advance. Aim to get your best thinking done before you even enter the room. You'll find it much easier to just get it ahead of time. Be the first person in the meeting room. Build your confidence by just getting used to the sound of your voice and avoid dreading the moment when everyone notices you for the first time. Engage at your own pace. Ask for more time if needed and if you're rushed to give your opinion, calmly state that you need a moment or that you'll get back shortly. And lastly, follow up afterwards. Remember that your meeting doesn't have to end with the scraping of chairs and rush to get out of the room. Want to know more about other personality types? Check out our personality type video like the ambivert guide linked above and remember that there's no right or wrong personality type. The only right thing you need to do is leverage your natural strengths. Introversion is a gift. Never forget it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Success Bistro and comment down below.